Hello everyone, it's Alex Asmacher for We Talk UAV again. In this video I won't be telling you which color temperature to use, but instead I will try to make you understand what white balance is and how it works in order for you to set it up properly when you're filming with your drone. Now let's go inside. First mistake, people telling you, when it's sunny outside, use a color temperature of 5200 and indoors go for 4000. Wrong! Blah blah blah, nonsense, pure nonsense. White balance is in my opinion like the last brother. I've seen some awesome pilots, professional filmmakers, putting all the right settings on the camera and using auto white balance. Hello? Just give me a sec. Why do so few people care about white balance? I don't understand. Anyways, for a better understanding, let's start talking about this Scott Irish man, Lord Baron Calvin or William Thompson. He really taught us a lot, so let's go inside. This man taught humanity a few important things. But now we will focus on the temperature units. This handsome man wrote in 1848 a paper on thermodynamic temperature scale. And without getting a lot into physics and mathematics, he taught us how to apply Kelvin units on color light sources. The color temperature of a source is the temperature of an ideal black body radiator, which by the way is a type of electromagnetic radiation, that radiates light of comparable hue to that of the light source. Now let's understand this with a beautiful example. Grab a piece of paper, go outside, well if it's really cold just watch this video, and the sun has some blue hue that it will add to the paper, but our human eye won't notice and we will see the paper just plain white. Now if you take the same piece of paper indoors with a more yellowish light source, it'll add some yellow or orange to the paper, but we will see it Yes, correct, plain white. This is because our brain makes us wizards. It does some real magic. However, cameras are not as far as our brain yet. And of course they struggle with this processes. We'll get back to this in a second. Let's see first this chart and try to apply everything we just said. And will get really important for us filmmakers or photographers. As you can see here, the higher the Kelvin units, the more blue color the body radiator produces. And on the other hand, the lower the Kelvin units, the more red color the body produces. This means that, for example, the sun has a different color temperature than a candle. As human beings are intelligent thinking machines, we associate always hot to red and cold to blue. However, on this chart, Mr. Kelvin showed us exactly the opposite. Look at the candle flame. It's set to be at 1800 Kelvin units, but now think for a second about a campfire. Where are the hottest parts? Exactly, those blue tips are the hottest. So put your mind in that sequence that red is cold and the hotter the radiation, it gets more white, going up to blue color. Now this chart is really important for the process of adjusting your white balance on your drone camera as you want to see this paper as pure white if it's on your footage or let's take snow as an example if you're flying from above. The problem of white balance is that it adjusts automatically the color temperature, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So in this example, if the camera detects that your snow or your piece of paper is too yellow, it will delete the yellow with an algorithm. The problem here of course is that it will delete it from the whole picture and in most cases it will destroy your footage. And this is especially sensible if you're doing video as you probably will somehow move your camera either panning or just changing the center point of your footage and the camera will start changing the temperature while you're filming and of course the result will just be terrible. Let me talk briefly about the predefined settings we have on our drones. This footage was taken last year on my Phantom 3 Pro when I still could record my screen. Oh, thanks DJI. These settings are just a picked up color temperature to make our life easier. Of course, there are some color temperature ranges where you'll be mostly filming at. For example, as you'll probably film with daylight and outdoors, somewhere between 5K and 6K. My recommendation here is to experiment as much as you can. You won't be using the same color temperature if it's cloudy or on a sunset. So start learning what is best for your camera in every situation. Spend some hours here as it will give you always a more professional output. 
Well guys, really thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoy it. Please let us know if this type of videos are helpful to you and leave a like or a comment whether you want to have something different or you have any question, subscribe. And of course, always remember, keep calm and talk UAV.